Hi everybody, welcome to my new Adventure Game Releases video for April 2024. Now, the phrase quality over quantity springs to mind for this month because there's not an awful lot going on. However, having said that, there are a number of very exciting adventure games releasing this month that I'm going to take you through all of the details for, so you can see if you want to pick up and play any of them for yourself. Are you looking for an adventure game that feels like one from back in the days of the classics? Then I've got just the game for you. This is The Legend of Sky by Point and Pixel Adventures, and having already played a fair bit of this one myself, I can tell you it definitely scratches that itch. Featuring the classic 9-verb interface and inventory layout that we all know and love, you'll be able to discover a wonderful fantasy medieval world in this one. You'll play as a young druid called Sky who's been summoned by the elders of her tribe to take on an important mission. Of course, this mission will be full of danger as you look to thwart the evil King Finn who has sinister plans of his very own. Expect a lot of puzzle solving, but without the frustration of dead ends, meaning you won't need to do any save scumming to make your way through this one. The Legend of Sky releases on PC on April the 2nd. We're staying with the classic adventure game vibe for this next one. This is Bent Oak Island by Banefire Games and it features some really lovely looking pixel art. When twins Archer and Sam go to visit their uncle for the summer, they imagine they'll be in for a peaceful, relaxing time at the once bustling tourist hotspot of Bent Oak Island. But unfortunately for them, the world is ending. The island has certainly seen better days after a fire 15 years earlier destroyed the entire town and with it the once successful tourism industry. Townsfolk are struggling to make ends meet, strange goings on have been occurring and an air of dread is settling in on the islanders. But that's not all. The combination of strange hairy creature being sighted and unusual tectonic activity looks set to be the repeat of the start of the disaster from 15 years ago. Archer and Sam will need to work quickly to discover the secrets of Bent Oak Island and save themselves before it's too late. Bent Oak Island comes to PC on April the 3rd. Now this next game is one I've been eagerly awaiting ever since I came across it almost three years ago. This is of course Harold Halibut by Slowbros and it's probably fair to say that I've been thinking about this game non-stop from that initial moment. But this game has actually been in development for about 14 years now, which is absolutely staggering and makes my three years of waiting seem pretty insignificant. Everything you see in this game is handmade using sculpted figures and models, and then animated in a way that gives the gameplay a fantastic stop-motion style aesthetic. And whilst it's not actually stop-motion per se, it most definitely feels like it. It's been 250 years since Harold's home, a spaceship of sorts, left Earth behind to find a new habitable planet for the human race to colonise and survive on. The ship is now at the bottom of the ocean on an alien planet, and you'll play as Harold, a lab assistant in the ship's science department. Everyone aboard has accepted that they'll now need to live aboard this sunken ship, but the ship's chief scientist has plans to try to relaunch the ship so they can attempt to find a more suitable home. Harold is about to find his life completely turned upside down in a world of interesting and unique characters, all fully voiced to add to the game's narrative-rich storyline. And don't forget to keep an ear out for the voice acting talents of the wonderful Sally Beaumont when you play too. Harold Halibut is coming to PC, PS5, Nintendo Switch and Xbox on the 16th of April. Even more pixel art goodness on the way next as we take a look at 44 The Jail by Marcial Gutierrez. Now I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, if I'm not I apologise. This one is a point and click mystery adventure game set in Argentina. The game takes place sometime after 2010 and you'll find yourself playing as prison inmate Elias Di Lorenzo. There are other inmates you'll encounter, each with their own secrets that you'll have to try to discover as you attempt to escape from the prison. This is a traditional point-and-click adventure game, so I'd expect to see the usual inventory-based puzzles, along with dialogue being pretty important. There's also director's commentary you can access if you want to find out more about the development of the game, something that I personally always enjoy checking out. And just as a heads up, there's a warning from the developer that the game does contain elements surrounding sexual, drug and alcohol abuse, so please do bear this in mind if you decide to play this one for yourself. 44 The Jail will be released on PC on the 17th of April. Now if you haven't already had enough mystery adventure game goodness, here's another one that's coming this month. This one is called Marcella Moon For A Watching and it comes from Hidden Ocean Games. It's part of the wider Marcella Moon set of games, though each is a standalone title and doesn't require you to have played any of the other entries before this one. 
Mosalamoon has started an internship at the Rosebrook Police Department and all seems to be going very well. That is, until she receives an anonymous tip with a brand new clue that could be key to solving the cold case of her father's past murder. It's a first-person point-and-click adventure game with detective and forensic-themed puzzles you'll need to solve. Forging good relationships with the officers in the police department will also prove vital if you're to uncover the conspiracy buried at the heart of the small town of Rosebrook. Marcella Moon for a watching comes to PC on the 26th of April. And that brings us to the end of what, in all honesty, is a pretty lean month for adventure games, although there are a few real gems that I cannot wait to get my hands on. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below telling me which of these you'd like to play for yourself, and if I've missed anything that you think I would enjoy playing too. I'm going to leave a link on the screen now so you can check out some of my Let's Play stuff if you're interested, but for now, I will see you very soon.